We'll guide you through how to install Nvidium in Minecraft. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Nvidium is essentially a rendering engine and it can drastically increase your FPS. You do need to have an Nvidia graphics card and we'll cover the compatibility in a moment. First of all, to install it, quit Minecraft. Then what you need to do is open up a web browser. And so what we're gonna do is search for Nvidium like so. And then you want to come to the modern site. This is where I download it from. You can then read through the description here. It's pretty useful. It's going to tell you what it's compatible with. And then to go and download it, come to the top here and go and click on versions. So there are different versions here. I like to go and get, go and get the most recent version. I can go and see that it's for 1.21.x. So we can then go over to the right, click on the download button and it's now downloaded. Next, what we need to do is just go and click on Modrinth in the top left. We can then click on Discover Mods. We need to go and get Sodium. It's going to run with this, so go and click on it. You can go and read through the description here as well. But to download it, go and click on Versions to the right. Make sure we go and get the Fabric version, and we need to go and get it for 1.21.1 as well. In this case, I'll get this one. These top ones with B are beta, so I like to get a full release. So we can click on the Download to the right like so. Next, we need to go and get the Fabric API. And because we're using the Fabric Launcher, we need that. So go and click on it and then go to the top and click on versions. Once again, we need to get it for 1.21.1. I like to get a full release. So here it is for Fabric. Click on the download and it's now downloaded. Last of all, we need to download the Fabric Launcher and installer itself. So go and search for Fabric Minecraft and come to the site. You can then click on download and click on download for Windows and that will download. Before we start the install process, if you're in need of a Minecraft server, then come and check out Apex Hosting. They're the go-to place for a Minecraft server, it's where I always like to go. They've got so many awesome features and benefits like 24 seven servers and support so you can get help anytime you need it. One click install mod packs and much more as well. And at the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice. So if you're interested, I'll put a link down below in the description and in the pinned comment. A big thank you to Apex for sponsoring this video. To go and continue, we can come out of our web browser, come to the bottom and open up File Explorer. Come to your downloads on the left here and go and select what we downloaded and go and put it onto your desktop. Now, what you want to do is start off with the, inst the Fabric installer. So double click on it to run it. Then what you want to do is go and choose the Minecraft version which we went and got the others in, which is 1.21.1. Click install like so, and it's now installed. Now what you need to do is go and open up the Minecraft launcher, go to the top and click on installations. Now what you need to do is go and scroll down and find fabric and make sure it's the version you just downloaded as I've got others. So this is 1.21.1. Click on the file or folder icon to the right of it, and this will open up and you can scroll down here and go and find mods, double click on it. Then what you need to do is go and drag in these mods we just downloaded into the folder like so. You can then close the folder and then you go to the right of fabric and go and click on play and it will launch. And so here we are and you'll know it's installed because when we click on options, then video settings, you'll see in the top right in video, as you can see, and you can go and customize these settings here as well. And so that's it. We can then go and get into a world and start using it. 